Well, thank goodness for that. Hi, Ghosty. Oh, Daddy's recording. I better come up and bother him. Game by Capcom. Well, I know what it is, but I have the luxury of being me. You guys will have to sit in suspense and wait to see just how much brain damage I'm suffering from currently. Dear God, what is that? <coughs> oh, it's a little dolly. Okay, I thought it was a skull or something. A fat man with a cane. And I'm pretty sure that was a corpse. It's a strange place for a dolly. Girl pianist killed on Christmas Eve. Killer slays two in acid bath acid bath shower. Based on a real guy. A real horrible person. No more news clippings. Aww. I am both fat and evil. I... Apparently make things explode by looking at them. Jesus. Well, we know he's not a cool guy, but... coming. I've never actually played the game, but I did read a screenshot-based humorous Let's Play about it on the LP archive by... It was the Dark Id. It is one of the funniest damn things I have ever read in my life. That's not what you want to hear about a horror game, folks. <laughs> well, and we know it's a clock tower game, which means it should have all the user-friendliness and intuitiveness of a shopping cart with one wheel and broken glass for a handle. What do we got? <coughs> Search, duck, walk... T what? Why is that the triangle button? That's weird. View map. Special arrow. Uh, yeah, everything seems reasonable enough. Analog's working. Well, yeah, I guess all the PS2 games were analog. But... New game! Let's see what happens. Sunsoft. Bane of my youth. Crap like a Mylon Secret Castle. It's something else. Or maybe I'm thinking of Hudson. Anyway, I'll shut up. I'm totally not going to show up. I'm, I am going to talk over every cutscene of the game, but we'll see how it Dearest goes. Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you, and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please... Go into hiding until your 15th birthday has that passed. Was clearly a different girl. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. The uh, character animations are Hello? super Mom? exaggerated Hello? in this. Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? Answer me! She's not answering. <laughs> well, clearly we should run back home. Do the exact opposite of what Mother said. <clears throat> ah, yes, another young teenage protagonist in a skirt. Mum, I'm back! See, at least Jennifer has the sense to wear pants. Mom? Or a long skirt. <gasps> no! 
well done. It's just exaggerated like a mime were doing it like, oh, I'm creeping. Oh. Hi, fat evil man. Um, excuse me. Are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. <gasps> so it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. No! <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, that uh, the screenshot let's play doesn't do it justice. Oh, we have we have our panic meter, which will cause us to lose our cookies and run around like an idiot. In the meantime, it's time to run around and press X on things. Like this fireplace. Yes! The X button seems to be working. The clock keeps perfect time. I think this is one of the clock tower games that doesn't have a clock tower in it. Well, I guess the PlayStation 1 didn't really have one. here. Let's follow the creepy old guy. So apparently mother runs a bed and breakfast or something. Oh, this looks like a save point. Yes, let us do that. Before we do something entirely too ignorant. I've got to quit eating before I start talking for a long time. Okay, that should be that all cleaned out. press. Oh, a map button. Uh, I don't think that yellow thing's an objective. I think it's just background. Gee, I wonder if I should use this. Brimming with fresh water. Okay, that's important. Remember, it's brimming with fresh water, kids. Filled with art and antiques. Grandfather used to collect that kind of thing. Good for him. All guest rooms from this point forth. Everyone's out. Is it on the map? Will I be going there? Yes. It is definitely on the map. <coughs> Seems to be fixed camera, which is nice. Grandfather's room. It's been three years since he left. When's he coming back? And, um, if you do know how this game goes, no spoilers, please. I want it to be a surprise for everyone who hasn't seen it. Because this game is pants on head insane. Like, pencils up the nose level insane. Well, let's go to my room. Well, I guess for a bed and breakfast it's important to know where the landlady's daughter lives so you can go and bother her, well, lady garments. That's an ugly little hat. Oh, shiny! Shiny! Well, at least searching's gonna be easy. Lavender water is something that will make you calm down. That's actually a cute little uh, stuffed bunny thing. I like the goofy eyes. Looks like a Spinda from Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Damn you, couch! My room, nothing's changed. Aside from this portal to hell, this didn't used to be here. Fire burns in the hearth. Where am I now? Ah, it's a purple thing. That could be important. What's this? It's 
come back to the balcony? Yes. I'm not interested in your crap balcony. What the poop? <coughs> when did mom put that in? No comment, anything, just no. Whenever Alyssa's physically or emotionally threatened, the panic meter rises. And bad stuff happens if it gets filled. Need to check something. Oh. No? Hmm. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what my save state button is. I wanted to do something stupid. fireplace is acting up again. Well, better go clean the bastard out. Who would have thought there'd be a hidden room there? Ah, it's the crouch button. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder who they could have possibly designed this game for. I don't, I, I don't, um, I appear to be having some trouble with my controller. All I can do is make her move forward and backwards. Sorry, I'm done with that. I'm totally not done with that, but I'm done with it for now. <clears throat> so now we can hide in little holes. Maybe we can run from our attacker. <laughs> well, why the hell not? Okay, then. Oh, stuff. That looks like a bottle and a letter down there. I found a sacred bottle. <laughs> We're totally not ripping off Silent Hill's noise. Honest. Dearest Alyssa... Wait, who are we? Hard to say. Oh, Nancy's like this. Dearest Alyssa, I want nothing more than, you for to live, than for you to live peacefully. But if you're reading this now, you must have come back to the house. Seriously? <laughs> For your protection, I'm giving you some advice, as well as instructions on how to use this bottle of holy water. Holy water uses exorcism. If you're ever threatened, sprinkle holy water on your assailant. It will cause them to halt. And you can break the seals to prevent access to certain places. And you can replenish it. Sentimental items and spirits. A person who's died of unnatural causes. Damn, this music's loud. 